What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and it is 100,000 subscribers edition. So in today's setup, guys, I will be showing off my 100,000 subscribers plaque that I got from YouTube. Thanks to every single one of you guys that have ever subscribed to the channel. I think we're up to about 112,000 now, and it just means so much to me, guys, that I would have that many people want to subscribe to my channel and want to watch the content that I produce daily for you guys. It just means so much to me and I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I've had this thing for maybe two weeks now and I tried to think of a video to present it to you guys. I didn't want to just upload, you know, a, a video of me unboxing it or whatever. I wanted to special things up, you know, maybe uh, maybe at My Damn Nation or something that could be part of the stage or I don't know, I thought about something like that, but that's too far away. So you know what? I wanted to include it in a setup video. I thought that would be pretty cool. So today we have a WWE action figure set up with the plaque in the middle and I'm going to take you through the whole backstage. I'm not going to include the entire arena because the the entire arena is in the dining room and it is being filmed for the MDT Royal Rumble and I don't want to spoil anything for you guys and all of that good stuff right now. So we're just going to keep it in the backstage. I'm going to take you through the entire setup. And again, guys, I just want to give a huge thank you again to every single one of you that have subscribed. And if you're not subscribed right now and you're watching this video, please go ahead and do so and check out the rest of the videos on the channel. But let's go ahead and dive straight into this WWE figure setup. So guys, we're going to start off in the corner right here and you're probably wondering why is Randy Orton just chilling over here in the corner. Well, what this is representing, guys, is the very first video I ever posted on my channel was Royal Rumble 2017 predictions. It was the beginning of 2017, and I wanted to make my first video a predictions video for a pay-per-view. It was the Royal Rumble, my favorite pay-per-view of the year, and my boy Randy Orton did win it that year, and I predicted him to win, so I thought that was pretty special. That was my first video. One of my favorite wrestlers, I predicted him to win, and it all ties back here, and I wanted to start things off with the setup with my first ever video and that representation is with the Viper Randy Orton right here in the corner. Actually, the exact same figure that I used for that video as well. Kind of crazy. Still using it on television to this day. Next up, guys, I'm taking you guys right here. We have the Beast Brock Lesnar and the current Universal Champion Seth Rollins. I think this is sort of a, you know, some symbolism representing the beginning of my channel. We have seen not only the long terror, the long reign of terror of Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, but we have also seen my boy Seth Rollins come up and slay the Beast. So I thought it was pretty cool, you know, representing here the few that these two have had, um, the, the how far we have come from the Universal Champion Brock to current day Seth Rollins, so it's so cool to see that we have lived through the reign of terror up until you know, the days of paradise here with Seth Rollins as Universal Champion. Just beyond that, guys, in the back, we do have an injured superstar, and that is RVD. Anybody that is a fan of the pick fed or keeps up, keep up, keeps up with the pick fed, you will know that RVD did get run over by somebody. We don't know who it is just yet, but he is on the shelf, so there he is with his neck brace on he is hurt so i just figured i'd throw that in there that's a big storyline going out going on in the pick fed and a big storyline going on on the channel so if this has to do with the channel and 100,000 subscribers then i went ahead and included it you know it wouldn't be a my, my damn toy setup without trash corbin back here on the table guys you can see he has laid out and he is about to get put through the table by my boy jeff hardy jumping off of that scaffolding with a swan time bomb about to hit him there he's doing the signature pose with the face paint yelling and screaming here and he is about to take flight onto Trash Corbin and put him through the table. We may end the video with him putting him through the table, doing a swan time bomb onto him. We'll, we'll come back to that. In the middle, guys, we have what the setup is all about. It is the 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque. You guys can see there. It says, presented to My Damn Toys for passing 100,000 subscribers. YouTube logo down there. We got the silver play button, the little plaque there. Cannot wait to hang that up. I've literally kept it in its case until just now. I took, you know, I opened it up, looked at it, posted it on Instagram, and then put it right back into the box. But I am so happy to have that guys i remember one of my day one goals was to set out to capture that silver play button and here we are and i wouldn't be anywhere without you guys and uh watching my videos and, and enjoying the content that i produce so thank you guys so very much down here we do have some champions of the channel we have the current reigning mdt and an mdt extreme champion and the current mdt battle royal champion finn balor three of my favorite wrestlers come to know it john cena kevin owens and finn balor over on this side we have a couple more current day champions we have the mdt elite champion over on vindication kenny omega and currently probably my favorite independent superstar i would say and then one of my favorite talents of all time shelton benjamin right here the current day u.s champion and all three of these guys not kenny omega he's not defending his 
Cena's title at the Rumble, but Shelton Benjamin, John Cena, and Kevin Owens are all defending their titles at the MDT Royal Rumble. Going to be very excited to see if those men can walk out of the MDT Royal Rumble with their championships. Coming over here, guys, we have sort of a sentimental moment right here. We have a bunch of NXT talent. You guys will see we have Aleister Black, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, Pete Dunne, Velveteen Dream, Bobby Fish, the Undisputed Air, Kyle O'Reilly, and Adam Cole. They're all just sort of knuckle-touching here because I just think it's so cool to see all of the talent and the, the new superstars and figures that we have gotten ever since my channel started. You know, when my channel first started, none of these guys, none of these guys had figures just yet, and just to think of how far we've come from that day to now, and we have gotten all these awesome superstars and young talents, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. So all of them are there. That's sort of the symbolism of all of them holding down NXT and producing beautiful wrestling for all of us to enjoy. Here we come to the right, guys. We do have the bloodline for the pick fed. We got the current MDT World Tag Team Champions Usos. They don't have to worry about defending their, ta uh, their tag championships at the Rumble because there wasn't enough room on the card. You know, nobody was really competing for them yet. I'm sure they'll have to defend those things at the next pay-per-view, though. And they have Roman Reigns, their leader right now, going for the MDT Championship in that triple threat match. Going to be intense, and they're sort of discussing game plans here. I figured, you know, they just won the tag titles. They're sort of the big heels going on right now on the pick fed television, and it has to do a lot with the channel. So I figured, why not go ahead and get these guys in here? I kind of wish I had the full arena, guys, so I could do a lot more setups and a lot more stuff for you guys. But I figured, you know, we had to work with what we got, and I didn't want to spoil the rumble, but I also wanted to do this setup for you guys, so I hope you guys don't mind. Back here, what this is representing, guys, is over the time of my channel, we have seen superstars come and go, and you will see Luke Harper. He actually got his release denied. He actually is not going to be released from WWE. You know he asked for his release, but they said, no, Brad, you're, you're going to stay here, and they're going to hold out his contract, it looks like, so that kind of sucks for him. But we have Ty Dillinger, Alexander Wolf, Neville, TJP. We got Big Cass. We got Dean Ambrose and Enzo. There's plenty more that could have went here right back. There's, you know, countless others that have come and gone from the WWE, but these are just the ones that came to my mind immediately. So there is that, and that pretty much does it for the setup, guys. I mean, I, I, just, I said I'm, I apologize. You know, there's not very much room. Over here on the right side, there's literally nothing. Look at this. There's nothing. There's no arena. There's no nothing. Everything is just poo and pee over there right now. You know, we got to deal with what we got to do. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get the rumble done for you guys, and so I didn't want to, you know, fill up the whole arena again. It's it's in another part of the house, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, huge shout out to you guys for the continued support here on the channel. The 100,000 subscribers is a milestone that I never knew that I would hit. You know, I set out to accomplish that goal, and I knew probably one day that it would happen, but to, to do do it in the turnaround time that we did and just to have the amazing support from you guys is so incredible. I love you guys so much and I also uh, checked out every single MDT Royal Rumble predictions video and I want to thank every single one of you guys that made one of those videos. Huge shout out to you guys. That means so much to me. I commented, liked, and I think replied to every single one of those. So if you guys want to make an MDT Royal Rumble prediction video, go ahead and do so. I will check them out. But thank you guys so very much for checking out the setup. Thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers and being an awesome following here on the channel. You guys are absolute beasts and I love you so much. And this is just the beginning. We are uh, we're working harder and harder every single day to tr continue and try to grow and produce great content for you guys. And I just appreciate you so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Oh, here comes Jeff Hardy off the top of the scaffolding. Swanton Bomb on the Trash Corbin!